So I want to say welcome to this session uh, where we will learn about the untold secrets of success. I'm going to be sharing, um, blending you know, my experiences, uh, in my unique experiences and my uh, the principles that I've engaged so far in my journey of success. And we're going to learn together on this, right? Um, so let's dive into this. Let's dive into this. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to dive in, into this together, right? Are you ready? Let me know if you are ready. <laughs> are you ready? Like I am ready. I am super duper charged and I'm grateful for this opportunity. Thank God and thank, thank you to the team at the Learned Up Agency. Now, when, when I look back, really, when I look back to uh, the times we have had, you know, I met Mr. Benedict uh, sometimes back uh, last year, late last year, the co-founder of the Learned Up Consulting, uh, where, you know, I, I was a speaker at one of the uh, one of the conferences, the, the Success Summit, and, and I was invited to speak at that summit about the art and the science and, and, and you know, uh, the art and science of goal setting. That was what I, that was my session. And I captioned that session and it was amazing, right? It's been a great opportunity knowing Mr. Benedict and all the great work uh, that you lead. Thank you so much. It, that session was amazing. We had other like minds, great thought leaders, and it was amazing, right? I've still not recovered from that session. It's it's amazing. Uh, and again, when I look back to it, it's all about the journey to success. In the journey to success, we get to meet great people, we get to meet great like minds, and then we forge frontiers together, and that way we're able to achieve more, right? So thank you for all you do. Thank you for the team at the Learning Up, and thank you for this opportunity. I want to say thank you so much, right? So let's dive into this. My name is Abraham Owosheni, right? Um, I'm going to introduce myself shortly, but much more as I go on in the session, I'm going to share more of my story and my journey, right? You know, it has always been said that the story, there's always a story behind every glory, right? But for me, it's not just about the glamour of the glory, but the beauty of the story, right? By beauty, I mean maturity, right? You know, and uh, I help young people, uh, young adults to, you know, get clarity and grow in harmony in their careers, in their lifestyle, and in their relationship using my unique SAC method, right? Uh, as a result of these, I've done a lot of lot of work in, in the educational and youth development landscape. You know, I've appeared in a number of national TVs, radio stations, press media outlets. You know, sharing you know my thought leadership and you know personal development um, insights and educational you know tips for the generality of young people. Uh, I've been opportunity to train now twelve thousand, you know, more than 10, 12,000 young people uh, with various kinds of life skills that has positioned them to be able to. To live and lead productively and purposefully, right? Um, currently, now the last count, I have six books as a now, and they they've been with great impact and great feedback, either to right. What more about me? Um, I've been able to work with over as a now we have seven to five corporate organization ranging from you know uh, uh, companies to s schools to faith based organization tertiary institutions you know amongst many others and i've been able to coach over 751 people on career clarity and progression right it, it's been a journey of mileage for me and uh this journey has come with a lot of learnings this journey has come with a lot of um of beauty right this journey has come with a lot of 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 evolution right I, i've not been the same person that started you know my journey i've evolved on that journey and I, i've learned you know essentially right uh so i want to dive to this where i'll be sharing over my decade experience and counting on my journey uh in, in my destination i'm going to share deeply about that shortly right but i want to know if you are truly ready if you're ready, please let me know. Someone let me know. I am ready. Put that in the chat box. Let me know if you're ready for this. I am ready. Let me know if you're ready. I am ready. I'm super ready from here. <laughs> Someone let me know. I am ready. I am ready. Let's dive into this. Wow. I am ready. I am ready for this, right? I am ready for this. This is amazing. This is amazing. Thank you for those who are just joining in. This is amazing. I am ready to go, right? Now, if you're ready to go, I want us to dive into this fully, right? Now, as a form of highlights, uh, I want you to have an open mind, right? So be open-minded. As we get along in this session, please be open-minded. That way you can be able to get a value from this session, right? Um, again, our advice is stay to the end so that you can get the full value from this session. This session has lots of value, but 
it's advisable you stay to the end to get it full of value that he has again own this learning right commit to it right uh own this learning and commit to this learning uh this will help a lot uh let people know that you're in a learning session and commit to this value you're getting from this session i'll explore a blend of life coaching you know life skills training and of course spirituality as i share along you know on this journey right so let's dive in please if you're making use of a mobile device make it make, you know put in the landscape mode uh you know put it on the auto rotate you're using a tablet you know an ipad you know put on the landscape mode so you could see my screen fully well and you could get the best of this session right okay good right again um at this point please turn down every form of distraction right so that you can get the best value turn down every form of distraction get a notepad if you need one you know get a pen you know and let's dive into this right let's dive into this you don't find this uh you know taught in school you don't find this on the streets it's it, it's what you what has been learned from the trenches i'm going to share more about the trenches with you as we get along right so the goal of this session is simple uh the goal is to inspire minds and to renew mindset about success right you know and the in-betweens that's what i call the in-betweens right you know i, I want to do that i will be doing that leveraging on, on principles and my practical experiences and, and that way you get the best value from this so we want to inspire minds i want to renew our mindset about success i mean there's a whole lot of fears about minds about success what is it what's the buzz about success <laughs> you know I, I also grew up hearing about success and you know for me success has somewhat been overrated but i'm going to take it through in a practical way as we get along right uh, i'm going to share about some mindset about success success and destination you know success and assessment success and process and success and commendation right i'm, I'm going to be share around this you know as we get along i'm going to share around this as we get along right so uh please stay tuned to these you know and, and let's get the best of learning from this right you know so now Let's start with this. Let's start with you know an introduction to this. Uh, let me introduce this to you, really, because uh, success, as I said, has become somewhat an overrated word, right? I also grew up to hear about success, right? And, and I remember the earliest places where I heard about success, the word success, was I think in school, right? In school, so um, in school, and, and as the case for a many of, number of us as well, in school we we're told to you know go to school get good grades and be successful right <laughs> you know so um the term success was at that stage of life was tied to somewhat what we could call academic success right so the bulk of success was tied to the fact that get good grades you know get good reports right get you know I, I, I get um a's get you know the first class degrees uh and then you know you are time successful right so that, that that was one of my earliest places where i had about the word success in school i'm talking about academic success and um but the kind of success let me put it in context the kind of success we are talking about in this session today is not academic success um and it's not a one-sided success right the kind of success is what is what i call uh good success right scripture calls it good success so the kind of success we're talking about in this session is all around success so you could call it success in life right so it's not just about success in school or success in one area of life it is about success in life right and, and when i look back even to my journey in school right i remember when i was in um, high school um you know in, you know at, at the last at the third year in my in my middle school i i i was stammed a slow learner in school right uh, and you know i'm bringing this to context with even life right many people have been termed unsuccessful you know the society has said wow if this one is not successful this one is successful right and so there has been you know a false a, a defective metric for judging success right and even in school that metric also went in along and i remember one of my one of my assessment results my teacher wrote there and said abraham is a slow learner he needs more attention at home <laughs> you know i don't know if you have gotten such kind of reports from school and you know i started looking within myself that i was unsuccessful right my school my teachers had painted me to be unsuccessful so i thought i was also unsuccessful right and but again I, I, as as i as i went along on the journey 
it, it, it started dawning on me as I grew on. I became wiser that success is not about just my grades. It's not just about success in school, but it's more about success in life, right? And life encompasses every single thing, right? So, uh, but again, school was not able to position that for us indeed. You know, school was just focused on my, the aspect of schooling, and you know, all they wanted, all they, all of, the, all, all they wanted is that please do well in school, and then you know, you get high grades in the in the district exams, in the terminal exams, in the promotional exams. That was the focus, really. So even school did not prepare us for uh, the mindset about success and life in its in its entirety, right? So it's more like a code, right? So the same way, you know, in college you have. Uh, various courses you know you get to take right you know you know they call one 101 202 505 and i mean there are lots of courses like that success is also like a code but unfortunately um educational systems have not been able to uh really position us well about what uh success is all about right uh educational educational institutions have not been able to position us really well about what success it's all about right um but this is the gap that this session is filling right this is the gap that this session is filling to really master uh what success is all about and that is what this session is about right so again i'm glad that you're on this session <laughs> because what you were not taught in school we will learn together with the right mindset you know in here right and and, and there's a simple thing i'm going to share later on that how you can achieve harmony, right? Success in not just in one area, but success in all areas. That is the all-around success that we're talking about. So I, I try to, I try to paint, I try to put my thoughts together, and from all I've learned in my journey, and in, from the principles I've I've learned on the journey to success, that what exactly is success? And I came up with this. I said success is a journey of satisfactory and commensurate progress. With a unique destination in view right look at this carefully right this is a deep <laughs> definition but of course i'm going to break it down in the course of this session um there's i mean there are a thousand and one definitions about success but this is the one that i want to share you know in my own words and in simple terms success is a journey now if you pick out the operating words from this definition number one is that it is a journey right number two it is satisfactory uh, number three is commensurate, right? Uh, there's a commensurate progress. And primarily, number four, it is a commensurate progress with a unique destination. Unique destination is one big one I wanted to note, you know, in that. It's a unique destination. It's a unique destination. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> wow, thank you for those who are just joining in. Thank you for those who are just joining in. It's a unique destination. So I just shared a, a, a definition about success that... Uh, I've summarized, you know, so far in my journey that success is a journey of satisfactory and commensurate progress with a unique destination in view, right? So let me break this down and, you know, uh, what this truly means, right? So I wanted to picture this, right? Just picture this. I want to stay with me and picture this. Stay with me and picture this, right? If you can hear me loud and clear, please let me know in the chat box so that you can hear me loud and clear. Feel free to use the chat box to drop your questions, comments, you know, any any question you want to drop, I'll take them at the close of this training, right? Now, so back to what I was sharing. I wanted to picture this. Picture this quickly. Number one, from that definition of success, my measurement of progress, your measurement of progress is relative to your destination. Let me say that again. So we said success is a journey, right? And then it's a journey of satisfactory and commensurate progress with a unique destination in view, right? So if I have a unique destination in view, it means that number one, my measurement of progress in that journey is relative to my destination, right? So if someone, if person A is going to a destination and person B is going to another destination, the measurement of our of our progress can't be the same because our destination is unique, right? Number two thing is this. It has little or nothing to do with societal assessment or peer review, right? So I know we live in a social media age today where, you know, persons you have gone to school with, you know, 5, 10 years, 20 years ago, you get to see, oh, what they're doing. Oh, you know, oh, wow. And then unknowingly, you begin to benchmark your progress on your own journey to theirs, right? Again, 
this kind of success we're talking about has little or nothing to do with societal assessment or peer review right <laughs> this is amazing this 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 is this should give you a peace of mind <laughs> right number three is this the journey right success is a journey right this journey grows in stages in phases and processes wow this is amazing this is amazing this journey of success grows in stages number one and faces and processes right and so it's not a one-day journey right it's a it's a long-term journey it's not a short-term journey it's not a it's not an eat and run journey it's a long-term journey right and it grows in stages faces and processes now the fourth thing i wanted to bring out from that is definition i shared of success is this number four my eventual commendation right you know it's a journey so uh, if someone is to commend me having been on this journey that eventual commendation will come from the one who has sent me on the journey <laughs> wow this is amazing right look at this so the commendation is not just from the awards while the award may be good right the commendation is not just from the society while that is good the eventual commendation comes from who sent you on the journey right so who sent you on the journey <laughs> this is a whole lot of learning that i want you to go along with me i don't want you to miss this let's get on much more <laughs> now again this is the definition i shared earlier on the success is a journey of satisfactory and commensurate progress with a unique destination in view right now so if it's commensurate what does it mean it's commensurate because it must rest correspond to the destination in view wow it is commensurate because it must correspond to the destination in view <laughs> now let me give an example so um if you're going on an interstate journey maybe you're moving from one province to another one state to another another um ideally we can estimate that oh if you are coming from this place to this place it should take you maybe three hours or five hours as the case may be right you know now as as you go along in that journey it is expected that at a particular point if you say you are one hour into the journey you should have you know crossed in a, a, a mileage right you should have passed some places if you say you are two hours in right i'm sure your guest that is expecting you will, will also be we have an idea that oh if she, if she's two hours in then she's getting close right if you're three hours in of course it also sends you know it sends a message that oh then you're close to arrival right you know and but imagine imagine you are not sure of the destination there is nothing to benchmark your progress it is commensurate because it must correspond to the destination in view right it must correspond to the destination in view this gets clearer as we move on right so let's touch this you know four areas i mentioned success and destination success and assessment success and process and success and commendation right so let's start with success and destination right are we good so let's dive into this <laughs> this is amazing bro. now like we said earlier on my measurement of progress is relative to my destination right my measurement of progress is relative to my destination right so i can't benchmark my progress with another person on the journey to success for me as a person right you know i'm going to be sharing my story so for me as a person my journey to success the measurement of my progress i've always benchmarked it to what journey you know was i sent to in the first place where am i going to right <laughs> i'm going to tell you an action point i want you to take out from this first module as we go on where am i going to really right where am i going to and you know um i i i remember in scripture it was said of you know paul paul said this categorically he said i have finished my course wow follow me follow through with me how could he have finished his course he must have known his course in the first place i mean this is amazing someone came categorically and said now i have finished my course <laughs> wow so it's actually possible in today's world that someone can actually categorically say you can actually measure your progress on the journey of success but someone categorically came out and said this guy said i have finished my course and when we look at this how did he know he, he had finished his course then we understand that 
he must have known his course in the first place, right? And so for me as a person, you know, I, I remember my fourth year in school, right, in, in, in college, I, I was, I was, um, I, I've always said this to people, you know, young people, I say, don't strive to be successful. I know there's a crave about success in town. You know, there's a crave about the societal belief or perception of success. Don't, don't strive to get that. Rather, strive to be purposeful, right? Try to be purposeful. Try to be purposeful. And so for me, I, my, my, finding my purpose gave me a glimpse into my destination, right? So because if I must, if I must start, then I, I, if I must finish, then I must start, right? So you know, let, let me go back to it again. I want you to look at this. He said, I have finished my course. Follow through with this. If he had finished his course, then he must have known his course in the first place. And this course I'm talking about is not about the course of study you had in school. No, it's about your course of life. Each one has a course of life. And as I was saying in my story, I was in fourth year in school. Yes, I was in a fantastic course of study. I was even doing well in school. I was first in class, right? But I, 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 I really had no glimpse about my course of life, right? Again, that's why I said earlier on that. It's not about academic success. It's about success in life. So, you know, many people had academic success. As, that's amazing. That's great. But it's about success in life. Success in life, right? So, for me to succeed in life, the beginning point is um, finding my course of life. Finding my course of life. As fantastic as it is to succeed in school, for me to succeed in life, the beginning point is finding my course of, uh, of life, and I was, in, I was at the fourth year, and I remember this day, we were, even up, we were close to graduation. And one of my classmates then, you know, by the name Bodhi said to me, we're going in for a class. He said to me, Abraham, is there more to your life? I mean, I was, I was shocked. What kind of question is that? What, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I mean, this is a kind of expression, you know, that came out, you know, from my face. Is there more to me? And, and he went ahead to explain that, oh, I mean, beyond this course of study, Literally, he was saying, beyond this course of study, have you found your course of life, right? And that was a changing, that was a, that was a, that was a changing moment for me, right? Because, again, look at this. If Paul could say, I have finished my course, that means he knew about his course. And so, I, I couldn't, I mean, from that time in that afternoon to the rest of the day, I couldn't think straight. I, I was, I couldn't concentrate in class. And, and I went back to my hostel that day, you know, in my dormitory, I was thinking about this question all through, you know, just like when you get back from, you know, uh, you know, the day's work, and, and then you're reflecting on the things that happened. So that was what I was doing. What, did, what, does, what, what does it mean? Is there more to my life? And, and so what I did was that I took three days out to think about that question deeply, and, and I was meditating and thinking about it. I was praying about it. And what is there more to my life? Now, so this is what happened. What happened is that, you know, uh, that quest took me on another level, right? Took me on another level. Because ideally, school was school, school painted to us that, well, finish from school, when you're done from school, get a job, you know, get married, and as they say, settle down, you know, and then, you know, uh, get, get, get good things, get, get, buy, buy material things, get asset, you know, and all that. And, and that reminds me of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And, you know, when you look at the lowest level of that, that's where everybody is looking about what to eat, what to drink. And that's the highest of the level. What to eat, what to drink, right? Food, shelter. That's amazing. It's, of course, you must have shelter. Of course, you must have, you know, uh, have clothing and all of that. But guess what? It, you can start from there, but you are not meant to remain there. So, but when you look at that hierarchy, many people, that's the largest of it. Many people are, are still at that level because we were taught to just have focus on course of study and from there you know we just live life as it comes but what happened that day for me you know when i started going on that when i went on that journey to inquire on my course of life was that literally it jumped me from the base and the lowest level in that hierarchy to the topmost right because at the topmost of that hierarchy is what maslow calls you know self self actualization right but actualization in this context is not even about you when you look at it deeply it's not about you in itself it's about your destination it's about your essence right it's about why you're on earth that's the that's this that's the main actualization it's not about ambition and that answer that day set me on my journey to success so the beginning point for me was that my journey to success started 
when I found my course of life, right? This is very instructive and this is amazing. That for me was the beginning of my journey, right? And you know, when you look at it, if you must finish, you must start. I don't want you to forget this, right? If you must finish, he came. This, this guy came and said, I have finished my course. Wow. If he had finished his course, then he started his course, right? So if you must finish, you must start, right? If you must finish, you must start, right? So what must you start really about, right? You know, it's about starting your journey. But again, what do you, you know, every time I'm driving, this, this picture always comes to my mind, right? So I pick up the, my car keys, right? And I go to the car, you know, I sit on the driver's seat and I put on the ignition. <laughs> but every time I do that, I always ask myself, where are you going to? Of course, before setting out on that journey, before even dressing up to, you know, uh, embark and, you know, drive, get into the car, I had envisaged a destination. I had pictured where I was going to. Oh, I want to get to the, I want to get groceries. Oh, I want to get to, to the mall. Oh, I want to get to the office. Oh, I want to get. I mean, there's always a destination in view. How much more life as a journey? Life as a journey requires also that you have a glimpse of that destination, and that's what discovering your life purpose does. So, you know, that day, April 10, 11, and 12. I started my journey because I found a glimpse of my life destination. And I had in my conscience, you know, God said to me, I'm sending to young people, instilling their heart, the fear of God, teach them my ways, bring them to my knowledge, establish my words in their lives, build you development centers across the world. Wow, that was the beginning of my journey, right? So I, I, my, my race eventually started. So it was not about comparing myself with what another person was doing. It gave a lot of meaning and, 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 and direction for me right so for for this course was i born you know i just share with you the course for what for which i'm born right so that course is the destination for which i was sent right so if there was no need to raise young people it was there if there was no need to mold minds god wouldn't have sent me on the earth right but god found a need oh god found a need of, 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 in youth development god found a need in education god found a need you know of, of, of young people to be molded to be groomed to be holistically developed and he sent me on that journey so when I got on the, on the earth, it is now my responsibility to, to be cognizant, to, to, to align myself to my destination. Let me say that again. When I arrive on earth, you know, many people arrived on earth. Of course, that's the face of it. That's the face of growth. You arrive as if in, with, with ignorance, right? You arrive with, 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 at the point of cluelessness, right? You were born, you know, everything you had to do was done for you, right? Your parents had to take care of you. They had to change your diapers. They had to, you know, bait you. And they had to do all that. At, at that point, that's the point of cluelessness. It's fine. But when it gets to the point where you are 20, you are 30, you are 40, and you have not gone past the point of cluelessness, then there's, there's a concern at that point, right? So for me, you know, that journey started, I, I think I was about, I think I was about 19 or 20 at that point. And that journey started for me when I got a glimpse of my destination, right? So it's your responsibility at that point to really go back to your manufacturer, which is God, your creator, and say, okay, for what cost was I born? <laughs> this is very amazing. For what destination am I sent, right? Only until then does your journey of success actually begin, right? You know, the kind of journey we're talking about is a purposeful journey, right? It's not a rat race kind of journey, right? It's not that kind of journey. It's a journey that has a destination in view. What makes a race rat race is that there's no end. You just keep running. <laughs> Can you imagine a relay race where they're just running? They keep running, they keep running, no end. No end. No end. That's what is called a rat race, right? So, but 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 the journey we are talking about in this context has a destination in view. Wow. If I stop here, I mean, this has done a good justice to this. But of course, there's a whole lot. Let's get on with this, right? And, and I like the way you know Dr. Mouse, you know, of blessed memory puts it. He says success can only be defined by purpose and measured by obedience no wonder we said my measurement of progress is relative to my destination right and my destination can be found from a glimpse of my life purpose wow it's amazing it's amazing right so the, this is the action point i want you to take from this first module right ask yourself where am i going to ask yourself where am i going to where am i going to where am i going to <laughs> This is this is amazing. Where am I going to? I mean, write it down, please. Even if you you assume you know where you're going to, think about it again. Oh, where am I going to? 
Where am I going to? Where am I going to? Wow. Where am I going to? Or maybe you've assumed, oh, I actually know where I'm going to. Now, write it down. If you're, if you're really sure about your destination, this is where I'm going to. This is the destination. This is the glimpse of the destination I have. Where are you going to? Think about it some more. Where are you going to? Think about it some more. Where am I going to? Where am I going to? Wow. 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 Now, let's make progress in this. Right? So, um, the next module, I, I'm going to share more now about success and assessment right you know uh if success has to do about a unique destination um it has little or nothing to do with societal assessment or peer review right because my destination is unique right so now look at this i know we live in a social media age right and there's a lot of pressure but again look at this success the kind of success we're talking about has little or nothing to do with societal assessment or peer review right so you don't need to bring you know your your colleagues destination to your own they are different you don't need to check and be scrolling the timeline of someone oh wow he's married now oh okay this is job okay this is no 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 it's not about that it's not about it has little or nothing to do with that each one's race is unique each one's destination is unique it's not about competition rather it can be more about collaboration it's not about competition, but much more about collaboration. So when you see a person and you like the journey, I mean, it's, it's not bad to like a person's journey. You see the person's journey, whoa, sometimes I'm driving and a vehicle overtakes me and I look at the vehicle, oh, I like that ride. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's natural and it's good, right? You can actually, what you do is that it's not about competition. So imagine I see that ride and then I start, you know, accelerating so I can over, over, over so I can overtake that right no no it's not a competition right where he's going to is different from where I'm going to and again that is what creates the sense of urgency because of where you're going to so when you look at a, a highway for example many people are on the highway many vehicles are on the highway each one is going in varying levels very as, as a result about as a result of that of their destination so their destination creates unique urgency a unique sense of urgency for each one right so it, it, i wanted to free your mind today and come off that pressure that you have over time accepted from society that success is about you know how others have gone no each one's mileage is unique and you know when you are counting your miles it's with a with it's it is aligned with your destination you are benchmarking your mouse with your destination right so when you see a person whose journey you like right so you can rather collaborate wow i like it what do you do oh where are you going to and the person shares with you i mean i do this a lot in, uh, in networking with people uh, and then we start rubbing minds oh what are you doing why why do you do what you do right and we start i see i see that we're connected right so we begin to rub minds together we begin to rub minds together eventually we forge a collaboration so it's about forging frontiers not about building bridges and saying, oh, this one, you know, is competing with me. No, <laughs> it's not a competition. I mean, this will help a number of persons right now. This will help a number of persons right now. It's not about competition. It's more about collaboration, right? And it, when you look at it, it's it's more about harmony, right? If it has nothing to do with, with societal assessment or peer review, it, it, it's about your own life, your own race. So most times people always, you know, focus more about other people. Oh, what is he doing now? Oh, what is she doing now? Oh, is she married now? Oh, what is she doing now? Oh, how many children? Oh, what are they doing now? Oh, have they started this? No, it's not about that. It's a unique race, right? And you look at it and say your academic life. How has it been? And by academics, I'm not just talking about the time of school you had. I'm talking about your continuing professional development, your continuing personal development efforts, right? How has it been? Uh, if you have not, let me say this. This will help you do this because it has helped me in my journey either too, right? If you're having difficulties in growing personally, it, it, it may be an indicator that you have, you have not been able to articulate your destination, right? So why do I read? Why do I learn? Why do I engage in personal development? There's a destination in view. So I look at it and say, Abraham, Oh, what do you need to learn this month? What's my focus of learning? When you see me learning, taking a course, you know, getting on a program, reading a book, you know, purchasing any 
resource that I, I look at it and say this resource will help me on my journey, right? So it was not even about what I did in school. I'm looking about my journey. Remember, we said your course of life. So if you have not been motivated in your journey, is at all, then it means that something is faulty, you know, about your destination. So you need to you need to build what I call harmony in that regards. What about career? You also need to build harmony in that regards, right? And this one is a major part because your, your, your the reward of of your of your journey on success is it has a whole lot to do about this area because your career is about the vehicle you will take along on that journey right on that journey your career is one major vehicle in my book the career leader i i may, i define career as the as as the vehicle leading to your destination right so yes success is a journey but the career you take along on that journey is your i mean the vehicle you take along on that journey is your career Success is a journey, but the vehicle you take along on that journey is your career. So that area of life must be harmonized, right? I mean, and I do this, I, I do this in, in my, you know, my online courses and coaching, you know, where I talk about career harmony, relationship harmony, lifestyle harmony, right? I mean, this is amazing. What about spiritual? Spiritual talks about intimacy. I'm going to share this, you know, in the, in the, in the third mod module. Intimacy, intimacy with your creator, right? If you are not building that intimacy, you may get stranded on the way. The intimacy with your creator is about the GPS is your compass is your control tower that keeps you in tune if you are on the right track on your journey to success right again emotional life right you know as long as you're on earth you you have emotions if you were just in heaven you don't need to you don't need emotions right but as long as you are a human being on earth your emotions must also be in a well-balanced state right so today many people are depressed many people you know have low self-esteem you know they have a low self-worth guess what is happening emotions their emotional life has not been harmonized right and you know so i i grew up having a form of low self-esteem you know uh because my physical height is i'm just about 1.65 meters so i feel i was i'm not too tall i, I wish I, I was about 1.7 or i was about 1.8 right but as i grew to know more about my destination and by my worth it became more apparent to me that a hey, success is not about how tall how fat how slim how uh, that i am no it's about how, how, how i've been able to find my worth my destination and the mouse i gana along on that journey wow it's amazing what about your social life this means along on that journey who are the people that i i i go along with on that journey i mean together the dream works teamwork makes the dream work right so who are long, who are, who are the people i can go along with on this journey what are the people i can collaborate with remember we said it's about collaboration not competition it's about collaboration not competition who are the people i can go along with on this journey who are they what do they do how can i find them how can we collaborate together right these are these are some of the things i pay attention to and that has helped me along on that journey who are they what do they do wow this is amazing and of course marital life you know you 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 one of your one of those people on that journey as i always call it your purpose mate one of your purpose mate will be your soulmate so when you look at all of this you find that success as we're talking about is not about job satisfaction alone it's not about uh, academic success alone it's a comparison it's about all around success it's about good success wow <laughs> this is amazing so this this is the action i want you to take from this module i want you to ask yourself why do i do the things i do right this is a question about motivation why have you been doing the things you have been doing right i, I mean so some people say oh mr abraham i want to get married this year and it's, it's a great thing i mean he that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor it's a good thing and it's, a, it's an amazing thing but the question i want to ask you is this why do you want to get married think about it any quick answer that comes quick if you're finding it hard to articulate why you want to do that thing you know, it means uh, there's a, the, the destination is also not articulate, right? So it means you, 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 you want to be successful in marriage or in any area, but you're not sure why you're doing it. I mean, that means you have been just been carried away with what society says, right? You know, so whatever you want to embark on, why do I want to do X, Y, Z? Why do you want to do it? Why do you want to do it, right? I mean, this has been a ruler for my life. I ask myself, okay, so why do you want to start this program? Okay, why do you want to write this book? I mean, this is a motivation that has helped me throughout my journey, right? I, I hope you're finding this helpful. I'm going to spend more time on this next module, uh, which talks about success and process. 
We're going to spend some more time here. I mean, please gather in here, gather in here. We're going to spend some more time here. Success and process, right? Uh, this is amazing. Are you ready for this? So, um, success is a journey, as we said. But this journey grows in stages, in phases, and processes. This journey grows in phases, in stages, and in processes. It's a journey. It's a journey. It's a journey. And this journey grows in phases. It's a journey, friends. It's a journey. Oh, wow. It's a journey. This journey grows in phases. It's a journey. Oh, I mean, I can reiterate this over and again. It's a journey. But, but now, what is special about this journey when you look at this, really? Let me pay the, let me pay a quick illustration with you. You know, I, I use this illustration pretty well, and I, I had a session sometimes last week, and I was sharing with this. Um, you, know, you know, success is such that people, everybody wants to be successful, right? You know, so imagine success as imagine success as a, a tall building. Imagine success as a very tall building, a skyscraper. As beautiful as beautiful as that, guess what happens? The construction of that edifice starts with what we call we call it substructure. You know, in construction, there's what we call superstructure, that is the one above, and substructure, the one below. In the substructure is where the foundation works, you know, um, you, you get they, they are get they, they are done. The substructure work, the foundation works, all of that, you know, is done there. Right? That's how it is. So imagine success as this tall skyscraper. Imagine it so tall but guess what friends as tall as this skyscraper is this skyscraper started from scratch ha, imagine this who would have thought who would have thought it started from scratch when even when the construction started nobody even knew there was any construction going on because all the while they were in the substructure they were below the natural ground level you couldn't even see them they were below the earth they were digging the foundation. They were digging the trenches. You couldn't see them. It was below the ground. But gradually, they got to the first floor. They got to the second floor. They got to the third floor. Then people began to notice, oh, there's something going on here. There's something going on here. But guess what? It's a process. Gradually, they got to the next floor. It started growing. It started growing. Oh, something is going on here. It started growing. Oh, something is going on here. It started growing. Something is going on here. Hey, it got onto the next level. It started growing. It's a process, remember. It got to the next level. It got to the next level. It started growing in stages. In stages. The, 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 all of the workers, the workforce, the man, the, all of the manpower on site, guys were at eat. They were, they, were, they were working hard. They were doing all of the sweat work. They were doing all of the dirty work just to continue the progress right materials were put in place all the equipment was, was was brought to the side to keep this work going gradually they made progress again the next floors were constructed whoa we are almost there they kept going at it they kept going at it they kept going at him whoa and before he knew it the next floors were added to it whoa but they kept going at it it's a skyscraper but it's a process it's a journey you don't skip the journey you don't skip the process you don't you, you don't cut it short it's a journey they kept at it they kept at it they kept at it it kept growing it kept growing it kept growing and guess what they got to the apex of it but this same building as fantastic as this skyscraper is started from the scratch wow started from the scratch started from the lowest of level started from below the natural ground level the journey grows in stages in phases and processes wow 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 this process is what we call time and i'm going to explain this with an, with an illustration of a pregnant woman you know i remember when we were expecting our first son my wife and i and that very day my wife you know she broke the news to me and we were excited. We sh we shouted. I remember I screamed from the bed. I was sitting on the bed, you know, and I screamed from the bed. Thank you, Jesus! Right? We're expecting our first son as at that time, and we just got the news of our conception. Wow! <laughs> but as beautiful as that is, guess what, guys? That conception required process. 
right? As beautiful as that good news came, we needed to be patient for nine whole months. 40 weeks down the line. Wow. Success is a process. Success is a process. And you know, many people say to me, oh, I want to blow. I want to blow. And the question I ask is, when you blow, what next? When you blow, what next? I mean, you don't want to blow away. I mean, when a woman gets pregnant, so six weeks down the line, you can't see anything. And I remember we went for scan, you know, you know, later on, in, you know, in that journey. And even when you give a lane my scan, he would look at it and say, what is this? He can't understand it. But science says there is a there is a fetus growing within the womb, right? Although you can't see it yet. Although, the, but the woman bearing it feels that something is growing inside of me. And guess what? Soon, boom, a bump starts. The bump starts showing. The bump starts showing. She's done with the first trimester. She goes to the second trimester. The bump begins to grow bigger. And that is what people now see. When people begin to see that your edifice is growing and growing higher and higher, then they say, oh, this guy has blown. He don't blow. You know, as they say in the palace, in, you, know, in, you know, in Nigeria, they say he has blown. But guess what, guys? It's not about that. It's not about that because when a woman is pregnant, she waits till the due time and then she feels the push, the 38th week, the 39th week, the 40th week. At that point, the baby is born, but it doesn't end there. So it's not about blowing. As yes, she had a big bump, she had a big belly, but it didn't stop there. The, the goal, that, now let me paint this to you so you could get it in context. A couple, the, a couple desires godly children not because they want to have a bump. Now, put that in context. You desire success not because you want to blow. But they say, oh, we desire children because we want to raise godly children, right? And they say, we want to raise, we want to leave a, a legacy behind. We want, to, we, want, we want to raise children that can perpetuate our legacy. We want to raise children who will fulfill God's plan and purposes, right? And so, God sent them, you know, uh, children to for them to incubate that children and groom that children and, and to groom the children in the way they should go right and so when the woman is pregnant of a child it's not about the bump as beautiful as the bump is it's about the birth it's about the nurturing it's about the training till it comes to a point when he says train up a child in the way you should go but guess what the journey of training the child started from conception so when you blow it is about what next it's about the destination it's not about the blow it's not about the bump the woman if you know you can i can imagine the comfort my wife had there were times i needed to you know just you know massage her back she couldn't sleep on some sides you know it was a whole lot of inconvenience but guess what the beauty was she was waiting for the days this baby will be born and then oh when he was born the journey continued right it's a journey remember success is a journey it's not about blowing it's a journey when the baby was born then the incubation continued oh i remember you know my wife and i were reading to our, our first son we're reading to him in the womb and then even when he was born we continued reading with him we continued our the journey actually now started fully the journey of training the journey of parenting began fully and it's been a journey right you know it's it's so it's not about blowing it's not about blowing my parents still f parents me to today they still train me today right so it's not about because i'm now married i don't get training from them so what scripture says is that train a child in the way he should go when he's when he's old he will not depart from me he didn't say when he is married or when he has gotten a, a master's degree no he said when he's old he will not so the training continues and so that is what that's how it happens for a couple as well. And I've used this illustration. You could understand it some more that it's a destination. So the destination for the woman was not about the bump. Yes, the bump will come. Yes, but it's about the destination. Oh, raising a godly child who will be, who will make impact to generation, who will impact lives positively, who will fulfill God's plan and purpose. That in itself is the destination for being pregnant. You see it now. This is amazing. This is amazing. Ha, this is amazing. Now, when you look at it again, let's go back to the trenches. I, I shared with you earlier on that it's about the trenches. So you see this skyscraper. But before that skyscraper became so tall, they started from the ground and even below the ground. The trench 
is the lower part of the earth where the, you, the, 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 the engineers, the construction workers, they dug the trenches. That is where the foundation will be laid, the trenches. Now, the question I want to ask you is this. Maybe you are in the trenches at the moment. or may, I don't know what level you are in your journey. I don't know how many miles you have, you have gone in your journey. But guess what? It's a destination. It's a journey. It's a journey. It's a journey. You don't settle. It's a journey, right? So what do you do on that journey? What do you do on that journey? You keep on in the journey. You keep on in the journey. So when you are in the trenches, there are certain things you must do in the trenches. <laughs> it's amazing. Follow through with me. There are certain things you must do in the trenches. The trenches is the period of incubation. The trenches is the period of preparation. The trenches is the period of, 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 of the hard work that people really will not see. The trenches is because when you are below the earth, people can't see you, right? You know, look at it. They can't see you. you are below it. That's the trench. That's how the trench is. Nobody can see you. When you even enter the trench, your whole height is covered. So if you want to build a tall edifice, then your trench must be deeper. So if you want to just build a bungalow, a one-story building, I mean, you don't need a lot of trenches. In technical time, just about now, you know, 0.9 meters or 1.2 meters for your trenches, for your foundation. But if you want to build a skyscraper, you need deeper trenches. You know, uh, it, it, for some, they, they even go to the point whereby they dug piles down into the head cross. Piles into the head cross. So how much do you want to go in your journey? And how much are you able to pay in the trenches? Let me share some things, uh, you know, that has helped me in my journey either to, you know, in the trenches. And, and I'm just going to share this uh, as we move along. Some, some things that has helped me in my own journey, right? So that is why when people say success is an iceberg, what they mean is that there are many things you can do in the trenches, right? It's still talking about the trenches. People won't see the trenches, but there are many things you can do in the trenches. They can only see the superstructure. Oh, wow. Oh, this is good. Oh, you know, they see the bump of the woman. Oh, they see the beautiful baby. But they don't know, oh, what you, what the, 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 the inconvenience the woman went through. She couldn't sleep all through the night. They didn't see that. They won't see that. Oh, she couldn't even eat a normal diet. She was just taking, I mean, <laughs> I could imagine all of the crave my wife had. <laughs> she couldn't just eat some things. People won't see that. People won't know about that. People won't hear about that. They will only see the outcome. Right? They will only see the output. But there's lots you can do in the trenches there's a lot of input you can do in the trenches now let me share this illustration it will help as i share with you some things you can do in these trenches so this is success so imagine this is a this is a uh, this is a building right now i'm using a whole lot of analogy because i have a technical background you know and, and this will help as well but let me paint this to you so this is a building for example now, this uh this is the first floor the ground floor and the next floor right so i mean you can imagine if you live in a multi-story building when you look at where you are and you see the ceiling and the slab it's so it's you know pretty far away right how do you get from that level from where you are to the next level right how do you get to that all you need is a stairs i mean so if you need a multi-story building to get to the ground floor from the ground floor to the next floor just go to the stair or climb the stairs and you're the next level it's that simple <laughs> wow this is amazing just go to the stairs get on the stairway Climb the stairs, you get there, right? But look at this. So, as high as it looks, as high as it looks, what does it happen? There is, there is, there is something you can do, right? There are steps you can take, right? There are steps you can take. And guess what? Some people say, oh, well, you don't know my background. Oh, you don't know what I've gone through. Yes, I do know. But guess what? There is a step you can take where you are now. There's a step you can take where you are now. Take the step you can take right now. Take the step you can take right now. And I want to share some steps I've taken in my journey, right? Now, one of the steps I took is this. And I want to share that with you because most times when people say, oh, you know, what about success? What else? This is what else about success. The steps, the trenches. People don't see that, right? So, in the journey to success, now, this was one of the steps that helped me, right? So, I shared with you earlier on that, oh, when my, when my friend asked me, is there more to me? What I did was that I engaged the principle of intimacy, right? Uh, intimacy with who, right? So again, <laughs> I, I'm going to go back to what I shared with you concerning, you know, uh, uh, you know, a, a, the woman. A woman became pregnant. Why did the woman became, you know, why did the woman become pregnant? The woman became pregnant because she was intimate with her spouse. Ho ho ho! Follow through with me, right? If she was not intimate with her spouse, 
there may not have been conception. Intimacy. Intimacy. So science tells us that the man releases uh, uh, the sperm and the sperm fertilizes the egg. So what does that mean? There was intimacy somewhere. Before we could see the bump, before we could see the baby, before we could begin, to, I mean, there was intimacy, intimacy. And that is the beauty about this. So for me, I started my journey to success with the principle of intimacy. And in this context, intimacy with who? Intimacy with your creator, intimacy with God, your creator. And when I went on that search, you know, my friend had asked me, Abraham, is there more? And I went to God asking, really, if you, you've sent me on here on earth, for what cause was I born? Why did you send me here on earth? I, that was my prayer. You know, I, I got to the point where I had built intimacy with God so I, I could go to Him. God is your Father, right? He sent you on earth. So, irrespective of how you were born, the circumstances around your birth, you, you were actually not born by accident. You were not conceived by accident. As long as you have arrived on earth, it was not by accident, right? As long as, so it's about intimacy. I, 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 you need to now begin to build intimacy with, with, with your creator, right? So when my wife calls me, I just can know she's the one, even if she uses another number, right? Because I've built intimacy. I go to a room, I could smell that, oh, my wife is around. I, I know I, I see some things done. Oh, this was this could have been someone that this could have been my spouse. Because there's intimacy. Intimacy does not come in one day. You grow in intimacy. And I've always said there's difference between meeting someone and knowing someone. I could meet you at a conference, right? We just met for the first time and we exchange pleasantry. I get to know you some more gradually. I could meet you the first day, but knowing you takes time. That is the beginning point. And that that is one of the principles that helped me in the trenches right you know i gave my life to christ at age 13 right and i started growing my intimacy to know who is this god that sent me on the earth why did you send me what what am i here to do right and so when it, when i was 19 and i was asking that question coming to a session like this getting an awareness like this that hey success is is a journey the journey of satisfactory and commensurate progress with a unique destination in view then i began to i began to ask why am i here on earth what is more what is more what is more about me beyond my course of study what is my course of life that principle helped me in gaining a glimpse about my destination right that helped me really now the next principle that helped me in the trenches is this i call it the principle of imagination right now i was sharing with some people in my email audience the other day that your imagination is more important than knowledge right i mean your it's a gift so nations have been built by imagination nations buildings an, an architect conceives a building all in the mind first even before construction starts right it's all in the mind right so it, it, it transfers his imagination in print form and you know he articulates it with some principles of science and it brings it forth and then the construction starts but it started in the mind so most times everything you want to do in life starts twice the first place it happens is in your mind. The second place it happens is now in reality. So sometimes I'm doing some things and I'm speaking somewhere and I'm just thinking, Abraham, you have done this before. And then I remember, oh, it happened in my mind. I dreamt about addressing 50,000 people. So when I was doing it, I just knew, oh, I've done it before. Right? I, I could picture it. What are you picturing in your mind? What are you doing with your thoughts? You know, the most powerful resources are intangible. Your thoughts. They're not, they're not about, you know, um, you know, the things you can even touch or feel. It's about your thoughts. It's about your thoughts, right? You know, imagine, through imagination, cities have been designed. These cities have been built, right? Inventions have been made. Products have been brought. Nations have been shaped. So come to think of it. You are a product of your past imagination. So... The, the, the action point for you is this what, what, what do you see I, I remember one day I was you know uh, uh, I was in you know in elementary school and I, I was back from school that day I was still on my you know you know uh, on my uniform and I sat in my room and I was just thinking I, was, I don't know what I was thinking about you know I was just a small you know I was much younger by now I was thinking more about my future right so I I, I could remember faintly I, I brought a note I brought, a, I brought out a small note, like a sticky note, more like a card, and I was just writing some things there, right? I mean, I, and that has been my journey, imagination. So most times, every single day, I spend time to imagine, 
imagine i imagine what i want to see and now guess what imagination can be both positive and negative right you can have negative imagination and as well you can have positive imagination so you can actually cast down negative imagination and you can you can enlarge and elaborate positive imaginations so why not embrace your your mind to imagine more positive things about your destination picture it right that's what is you know in 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 the school of 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 clarity we call it vision what can you see vision what can you see i mean this is amazing every single day depending on where you live i know there can be a whole lot of ozzle and buzzle of town but guess what spend time to think spend time to imagine positive things about your life spend time to do all of this this is how it works right what other principle helped me the principle of personal development has been a great helper for me oh i mean amazing even from when i was in school to when i got out of formal schooling it's been a journey of it's been a lifelong journey and you know i, I it's what, that, like i said earlier when you find it hard to develop yourself or invest in your personal development the meaning is that you have no destination categorically that you have defined so you, you you're surprised you're you're, you're you are com- somewhat coerced to do something I mean, I mean, when a destination is defined, you are not coerced to learn about it. You are excited. You know, it's just like a car. The car gets in the field. The field keeps it running. And so the field, the field to keep running on your journey, on your journey, on your success journey is learning. And this kind of learning is not just going to end in school. It's going to come by your continuous personal investment in learning. You know, one, one, one thing I learned about learning, and I, I saw this uh, quote many years uh, ago by Vera Nazarian, and she said this. He said, whenever you read a good book, somewhere in the world, a door opens to allow in more light. Now, remember, you are in the trenches. In the trenches, light can be limited because you are in the trenches. You are below the earth. It's like, a, it's like, it's like, a, it's like an underpass. It's like, oh, it's like a, a tunnel. So, but when you read a book, what happens? Somewhere in the world, a door opens to allowing more light. Oh, wow, this is amazing. A door opens to allowing more light. That's the beauty of personal development. You know, yesterday I, I was, I, 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 you know, I wanted to go to pick a book in my library and I told my wife, I know we have this book. I, I want to just, I, and I, something just flashed in my mind and I wanted to just review a chapter of that book. And I just went to my library and I just stuck that book out. I found it exactly. I just knew where it was. I mean, it has been a journey it has been a journey it has been a journey when i when i when i finished from the national youth service course um something strikingly happened you know uh for those who are familiar with that scheme you know as it is in various nations i i, I was in nigeria at that time you know and there was this scheme um, of course that every graduate must go through called the national youth service right so the last day of that you know exercise you know, after the year of service, um, commonly called the passing out parade, I, I went to I went on that event, and when I was coming back, I just asked, I just said to myself, Abraham, how will you reward yourself for this year of service? And guess what I did? <laughs> guess, what, guess what I did? I went to a bookstore. I bought I bought tons of books. I can't remember how many now. I bought tons of books, and I said to myself, this is my gift for my national service. <laughs> oh wow! I bought tons of books. But tons of books. That was my reward. I, so if if I show you some of my books that you know I read, uh, I think I have maybe an, a one year. Uh, if I show you some of the books I read uh, that I bought that time, I wrote so that I can remember that memory, I wrote the uh, NYSC gift, you know, or my gift or something. I, I just give it a title so that I can remember that that was what I did. I mean, it's been a journey of personal development. You know, uh, again, this principle works for every area of life. This same principle has worked for me in my academics. It has worked in various areas of life. So when my teacher had said to me, you know, in, in the third year of middle school that, oh, uh, uh, Abraham is a slow learner, he needs more attention at home. Fast forward to when I was in, you know, when I was, fast forward to when, 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 when I eventually started learning these principles. And one day we were done with exams in school and I brought a book I was reading from home. So I brought it along to school so that I could just continue to engage in personal development. The book was something about excellence, right? And I was just reading that book. One of my classmates said to me, without hesitation, he said, is this the secret? Wow. Is this the secret? You know, he said that because the, the, the first time, you know, in, in that particular you know, school year, I was first in class. 
and the second time i was also first in class before we had you know a, a terminal you know promotional exam so he was asking me he wanted to know is this the secret i've never forgotten those words till today is this the secret so that painted a picture to me that indeed people know that there's a secret there's, there, there are steps you take in the trenches and that's that's one of those steps is your personal development right so it's not going to nobody's going to coerce you or force you to do some things or force you to learn no it's about your own personal growth so every year you know on my laptop you know I, you know my hard drive i have this folder i call personal growth every year so you know i i i i i, I organize my folder in such a way that you know i have a folder for for each year so if you check my folder of 2020 right now you will see a folder called personal growth i mean you see the webinars that i've invested in the ones the courses i've paid for you see i mean and my maybe my various videos i've seen um, i mean you i mean i put everything the books i've read ebooks articles my learnings my musings i mean I, it's amazing personal growth it's personal development right uh, this has been a whole other experience for me the first time i left the first shores, the shores of my home country um you know being born in nigeria the first time i left the shores of nigeria was um I, it was it was i was going out for the cost of personal development right so i paid for this conference that i wanted to go for um you know and that was what took me out from the shores you know so you see it's a journey this is this is what happens in the trenches so you know if i took a picture of that event and i posted on social media oh and i put you know touch down you know, many people say wow this guy is traveling he's gone to this place <laughs> but i went there for personal development <laughs> it's what happens in the trenches right it's what happens in the trenches in the trenches lights will come by personal development now what more as i begin to round up right so what more that happened for me in the trenches is that i also engaged the principle of personal leadership right the principle of personal leadership and again this corroborates the fact that it's not about competition but collaboration right and so it's not about your age oh we are both we are both 35 how come he's now doing this and that no it's not about age oh we are both 30 how come he has done this i've not done that no it's not about age it's about mileage right it's not about age it has little or nothing to do with age it's about mileage 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 says how far have you gone mileage says how far have you gone it's about that right how far have you gone it's about mileage <laughs> It's amazing now so leadership in this context is not about a position you get no it's about service you know in this context i mean contribution so once i found my destination once i got a glimpse of my destination and my journey to success started guess what i started contributing and serving because service is what builds your mileage service is what builds your journey i started making contribution right everywhere i found myself how can i be of service how can i contribute right so that is against the you know the negative mindset that says what can i get rather it's what can i give right that way my mileage was counting faster faster so you know if you check my linkedin profile you see a whole lot of i've tried as, as much as i can to chronicle some of my mileage right that what that shows is it, it, it for me the principle i engaged there that helped me garnering that much mileage either to was not about my age right it was about contribution service that mindset to contribution early on and, and guess what guys more reward have come that way more more recognitions have come that way more awards have come that way right i mean lots of awards i've received they came because of service they came because of contribution that is what happens in the trenches i remember when i wrote my first book you know the career leader that was my first book um i don't know how many persons would have seen that first edition that first edition was um i don't know if i have a copy close by to me uh let me see okay i think i did i do right so this was my first copy of my book <laughs> the career leader don't laugh at me it looks like it, like the color is kind of um uh what do you call it now like like it's you see some red color like um, tonic colors something like that that was my first book uh, i mean um, it was just the first edition was just about 83 pages to four pages and i mean that was just it right and i was still in the trenches i mean i remember every single day i was uh, and i was writing it manually so i was not even making use of a laptop or a, an app or whatever 
So I was writing every single day. I sit up on my table, I was writing. I had a goal, I wanted to publish it in October of that year. Uh, that was 2014 or 15. And I was sitting at my table every day. Every day. That's what happens in the trenches. So when a person says, oh, my book is out. That's what people can see. But lots of other things happen in the trenches that you can't see. I was staying up. I was staying up. I was showing up, writing. Oh, sometimes the idea is not coming. Just stay up. When you stay up, the idea will come. Right. And guess what? Um, in, in 20, in 20, in later, I think a year after, uh, the, the, the second edition was published. Right. I want to see if I have, okay, I have a copy of the second edition, right? The second edition was published. Whoa. Wow. Look at the second edition now. Second edition got more refined. Now about 224 pages, the second edition. But that refinement came because I stayed in the trenches and I continued my mileage, right? Um, it's Again, it's a process. If I had not done the first stage of this first edition, the second edition wouldn't have come, right? But once I released the first edition, then the second edition could now come. That is what happens in the trenches. It's a journey, right? It's a journey. I want to know this, right? It's a journey. The, the last thing I, I, I will share, and, and, I, and I'll begin to close, is this one. The principle of resilience, right? The principle of resilience is the staying power. Uh, and this, for me, has also helped me in the trenches, right? You know, I remember one time I was driving in Lagos, Nigeria, uh, somewhere on the mainland. I had missed my way. It was getting close to dark. And I, I, I just knew I was not on the right track. So sometimes you know that I'm not on the right journey. Your, your conscience gives you an inner witness that you are not on the right journey. It's good. It's, a, it's to help you to know that where you are, whether where you're on the right track or not. So sometimes some people, some people tell me, oh, I, 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 me, I, I'm not getting clarity about what I'm doing. Or, you know, I'm not just satisfied. It's a, it's a message. It's a message that you are not on the right track, right? You know, so... I haven't said that. I, I, I just knew I was on the wrong track, so I just had to pull back, right? And I just had to, you know, uh, I, I was I mean, trying to find my way where was where I was and how to get along to where I was going. Actually, I knew where I was going, right? Success is a journey. Now, it's a journey. It's a journey with satisfactory and commensurate progress with a destination in view. So I had the destination in view, but I still was lost in the journey. Wow. So I sat back somewhere, I just pulled over, and then, you know, I was trying to check out either my Google map or, or just even, I think I was even asking people around and eventually I, I was able to retrace my step. My, my step needed me to make a U-turn, you know, and gradually I got back to the highway I was supposed to be on. And guess what happened? Boom. <laughs> I increased my mileage, right? I, I went on, you know, and, and, and uh, I, I, because I was confident, my confidence grew. Because now I know I was on the right track, right? So that's what happens with resilience. But resilience says that even when you are not, when you are on the right track, stay at it, right? You know, so um, stay at it. Some people will say, oh, well, um, I, I'm not there yet. You keep going, I'm not there yet. Yes, you are not there yet doesn't mean you won't get there. You are not there yet means, means you're, as long as you're on the right track, as long as you have a destination in view, and you're on the track leading to that destination, stay there. Today, many people have lost the staying power. You know, they stay for some few months, for some few years on this. It's not working. They reverse again on another path. If I'm going to this destination, and after going for some, you know, you know, kilometers and miles, I turn back again to another one, I will never get to where I'm, I'm meant to go to, right? So resilience is that staying power. That staying power. That staying power that, oh, even when, oh, I'm not getting commensurate income, even when, but as long as your passion is high, as long as you are tweaking the models, oh, you are tweaking the business model, you are tweaking your operational processes, you are tweaking it out to make sure it works, right? I mean, this is what we have learned from all other success stories. Tweaking it until it works. The point is, this is the destination in view. Then if I tweak it, oh, I can learn from the failure. So even when you get along in the journey, there will be bumps. Sometimes the road may even be rough. The terrain may be rough. But it shows that, oh, well, I mean, it doesn't mean that when I face an audio, I turn back. No, 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 no. It means I only need to be resilient and stay. The staying power. 
when you stay through what happens is that you have you are able to learn from that experience it could be experience of a failed attempt not necessarily failure it's just a failed attempt right right so it's not a label it's just it's just a term right a failed attempt right it, you can learn from it and get on it again get on it again you know so my teacher had told me i was a slow learner am i a slow learner today i'm not a slow learner i i was not even a slow learner that was the choice of what the teacher felt he could to describe what he thought he, you know he meant but i know today that because i stayed through on it i'm better off the, i'm better off for it right so success is going from one failure to another without losing enthusiasm that's how albert einstein puts it going from one level of failure to another without losing enthusiasm right it's about consistency the consistency of purpose it's about consistency that's what happens in the trenches so you don't just see you know a superstructure rise above the earth, you know the natural ground level they kept at it they kept building the layer and the substructure after the order after the order after the order because of that consistency then you could see the superstructure again when they continue the superstructure they continue from one floor to the other one floor to the other that consistency was what brought the skyscraper the staying power resiliency so this is the action point i want you to take from this will you pay the price to stay in the trenches while you keep growing think about it and make a note of your response will you pay the price to stay in the trenches will you pay the price to stay in the trenches while you keep growing will you pay the price will you pay the price i mean many people can't answer this because you know uh, they've always loved the eat and run but the kind of success we're talking about requires you to pay the price in the trenches while you keep growing and soon you keep going like an edifice eye and eye right so i'm going to just close with this success and commendation right and the point of this is simple your eventual commendation comes from who sent you on the journey who sent you on the journey i mean you know so you can't just set out and okay who sent you why are you on this journey and like i said when we started up god sent you on this journey really right uh so success is not more about achievement but completion right and and there's a case in point i want to share you know if you somewhere in scriptures there was a parable about the talents right one was given five talents and that was given two one was given one and the five traded with it got for five more the one got two traded we got two more the one that got one dug it and kept it and when the master came the master said well done good and faithful servant you have been faithful and trustworthy over a little I put you in charge of many things sharing the joy of your master the the master shared that with those who are traded with it right and and the master was the one that gave the commendation right it was not the society it was not the social media as good as the awards may be as good as the recognitions may be the eventual commendation comes from who sent you on the journey to success who sent you on your journey with your destination in view who sent you that's where the commendation comes from that's where the commendation comes from right i mean that's it so like i said success is more about is not more about achievement but completion completion of the journey of who sent you right look at what what, what was said of jesus he said after this jesus knowing that all was now finished all was now finished success is about completion all was now finished when he received the sour wine look at what he said when he received the sour wine he said it is finished and he bowed his head and voluntarily gave up his spirit it is finished so like we said when we started up how can someone say it is finished how can someone say i finished my course the meaning is the person knew his course in the first place the person knew our course in the first place even before starting the course and so your eventual commendation will come from the one who sent you on the journey and the commendation could be well done good and faithful servant right so I, i've said all of this to say stay in your success line be consistent at it stay in your success line of course there'll be times where i mean in the trench is a dirty place i mean you can see all of the earth the clay all of that it's a dirty place not that many people want to be there stay in your success line soon you're out of the trenches so you keep growing like an edifice you keep growing it's a journey stay in your success line right again remember that success can only be measured by purpose can only be defined by purpose and measured by obedience right so this is the action point i want you to take ask yourself have i been consistent on my journey 
Have I been consistent on my journey? Have I been consistent? I mean, because of the distraction that comes with the, with, with the journey, you know, if you are driving on the road, there, you see many billboards, many, you know, these there, you see a casino, you see these. I mean, you see very, various things calling for your attention. But if you are not careful, you can get distracted. Have you been consistent on your journey? If you have, if you have really found your destination in view and you have been on this journey, have you been consistent? Now ask yourself, how can I increase my consistency? Sometimes you may need, oh, I need, I need accountability partners, I need friends, I need persons who we can, we can check on one another on this journey. I mean, that can be an action to increase your consistency. Think about it. Think about it, right? Again, we started by saying success is a journey. It's a journey of satisfactory and commensurate progress with a unique destination in view. With a unique destination in view. If it's a journey, then you must maximize your time. If it's a journey, you must maximize your time. You must, you must, you know, so every time people celebrate birthdays, they say, happy birthday, right? I mean, it's good. But when you celebrate a birthday, always remember that your days are counting. Teach us to number our days so that we can get it out of wisdom. It is wisdom to maximize your time. Why? Let me show you. Let me go back to this. It is wisdom to maximize your time. Why? Because success is a journey and your progress must be commensurate to the destination in view. Right? The, it's not about satisfactory just be, by yourself. No. It, you must, it must be a satisfactory progress with the destination, the, the, the sender gave to you. Right? I mean, that is how it works. I mean, how has this been for you? This has been amazing. I'm excited, right? Uh, this is really taught in school. And I'm just glad you are finding this of value and you are committing to this. It's amazing, right? It's amazing. So how do you feel now? <laughs> I mean, it's, it, there's a whole lot you can do. But what I want to do is take all the actions and uh, feel free. I'm also going to give you some recommended materials. Um, you can send me your questions to me by mail. Or push me a mail, push me a DM, you know, on social media at Abraham Washington, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Push me a DM, or just send it to me by, you know, on my, my website. Contact me, right? But let me give you some, I know, free resources that will help. These are some recommended resources that will help. You know, uh, there, are, there are video trainings, and these three video trainings, you can find them on my YouTube channel, um, uh, bit.ly forward slash Abraham Washington. You know, just search up on my YouTube. You, you see all these three recommended videos. The first one is Purpose, Passion, and Planning. Right, That's a video training I did. It will help you, you know, articulating your destination, planning for the journey, right, like we have shared, right? The second one is Building Your Empire. You know, uh, I did this video training, you know, last week, Building Your Empire, how to build a big dream irrespective of parental challenges. Many people complain, oh, there are lots of challenges. Oh, you just don't know where I am. You just don't know, you know, my background, my upbringing, my location, irrespective of that. How can you build your dream big? How can you build your empire? That video training will help. And the last one I want to recommend here is um, a video training I did on achieving excellence beyond certificates. Achieving excellence beyond certificate. This will also help a whole lot of more, right? Excellence beyond certificate. How to refine your journey. Along that journey, you can actually be refined. The journey can be more colorful. Now, it's about a course of life, not just a course of study. So beyond the course of study, how do you achieve the excellence along the course of life that video training will help right so get all these recommended resources free resources you can assess right and and that way up right if you need me to actually hold your hands on the journey uh you feel oh mr abraham i, I need to really articulate my destination in view i really don't have a glimpse of my destination and i, I just need clarity about this area that is it's on that it's until that point that john the success journey actually begins right right so many people are, sh are chasing what we call defective success today or they're chasing what we call perceived success. They think it's success, but again, you have learned today, success is not in the achievement, it's not in the material things, it's not in comparison, it's, it's not all of that, right? It's a progressive journey, right, uh, with a unique destination in view. You want to, you want to help me, help, you want me to hold your hands, you know, in articulating the destination in view, right? You could come on to my, you know, one of my coaching programs called uh, the Life Harmony Challenge, right? It's a tiny journey, a tiny journey to finding clarity about purpose, about life, and of course, building harmony right so in all areas of life like i shared marital academics career spiritual emotional social right uh the next 10 days of your life could just be the best so just visit this link on my website and you know uh enroll for that uh, uh coaching program abrahamoceaning.com forward slash join lhc 
that's life ammonia challenge flowers like john lhc that's the link on the screen and, and, and that will help really some more right so um if you have really found value from this session i also like to hear from you get your feedback from this session share me your feedback um what i always do is that when people go through my interventions um i like to hear from them and when you do share this feedback with me i've put a free gift for you that you can get a free guide uh, the life harmony blueprint you can get it once you click submit you see the link to get this free guide uh that that will also help you on this journey right so please visit uh, abrahamoshini.com forward slash feedback and uh we can take it up from there right we can take it up from there uh, this has really been amazing <laughs> this has been amazing right uh, and I want to say thank you super much uh, for joining and for your time uh, I, I appreciate this and I do not take this for granted right um, again I'll leave you with this the journey is far but continually invest your time use your energy well and make right choices bye for now catch you again another time